Hello there, just going to do a um, quick review of this uh, desoldering station. Um, how you pronounce it, I haven't got a clue. Uh, Ainsty, Anasty, Anasty, either way, uh, that's what it is. Um, ZD915, um, purchased it a couple of months ago, um, just been trying it out on different things. Um, just desoldering some different boards, just a bit of practice really, not used it in anger uh, on anything yet. Um, haven't started anything, uh, any projects yet to uh, to try it on from that point of view. Um, just trying to get this um, temporary uh, sort of workstation sorted uh, to keep me going till the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, try it out on a uh, few different boards and um, and see how we go and uh, hopefully uh, I can uh, give you some tips on how to use it there okay here we go okay we've got the uh, desoldering gun set at uh, 435 centigrade um, yeah, it's a bit of a trial and error, you don't know what they're set at at the factory and um, we're in the melting temperature of the solder, what, you, what you're going to use it on, so you're going to have to uh, do a bit of experimenting with that one, but um, I found that, that temperature to work okay for me, um, so I'm just going to um, try desoldering um, this 8-pin uh, IC here and just show you how I go about it. So put you attach the uh, attach it onto the pin, you'll see it melt, pull the trigger and rotate. That's that's how I found the best way to do it. So you're talking of about one second and a couple of seconds on um, the rotate. Um, and it's quite quite quick once you get going that one wasn't so great of course you've got to balance up with the um, this being an old board um, If you're replacing something, you've got to make sure you don't put too much heat on. It's going to lift the tracks. Um, so it's great for removing um, removing components. If you're not going to put uh, components back on the uh, on the same board, if you're going to put components back on the same board, um, then um, just be careful. You might need to do some tests further around the board. Um, just to make sure it doesn't lift the copper with the temperature um, because I mean this this is from an old um, 80s hi-fi so um, you know if you're going to use it for um, you know your, your vintage uh, games consoles that kind of thing just just be careful uh, from that point of view but um, as you can see um, from there it's removed the uh, it's removed the solder from the holes I'm just going to see if this will actually um, actually will come out now so that's that's come out really easy so for ICs it's um, it's absolutely great um, you know to remove those can you you've probably tried yourself before um, removing ICs with a soldering iron and braid and that kind of thing and a the manual suction pump um, you know one of the, one of these jobs um, but to remove ICs the amount of you know if you've got large um, ICs in your your vintage games consoles etc then it's uh, it's a real great bit of kit um, 
I'll just run it um, along here as well. I mean, it's got, it's got a double row on there. I don't know if that's an IC or a, some kind of resistor array, but um, anyway, I'll just give it a blast along there and see if we can remove this, see how quick it is. Okay, felt that come out straight away. So that's um, that's out. So that had been an IC, you know, how quick it take it, it is to take uh, take ICs out. It's uh, unbelievable compared to what it used to be. Um, yeah, temperature wise, you're gonna have to experiment with. Um, I found sort of like I say, I'm on four three five centigrade doing those. This is old, probably old leaded solder. Um, this is um, a recent uh, board somebody made up. I'm guessing that's um, well, that's got a bit of shine to it. I'm guessing if it's recent, it might be yeah, mostly unleaded. I mean, but that um, they've got bent over pins on there, but. Uh, just give you an idea of um, that much really quick so probably the temperature could come down with something like that I'm not doing this very well because I'm standing up but even at um, those pins have been bent over but you can see how quick it clears the um, clears the solder out anyway. So um, yeah, bit of experimenting with the temperatures. So um, just to make sure you don't damage, um, especially any ICs or the tracks. Um, but yeah, on the whole, it's um, a great great bit of kit for the uh, for the money. I think it was I'm sure it was about eighty pounds, eighty UK pounds delivered. That was about two or three months ago, so we're looking at um, yeah, sort of October, November, 2020 when um, when I purchased it. But um, yeah, I'd certainly recommend it if you're going to do uh, if you do a lot of uh, that kind of thing, um, a lot of IC work anyway. Um, obviously not uh, not useful for surface mount anyway, but. Uh, um, there's only one thing I did find problem with. I mean, you do get slightly, uh, you get different uh, size nozzles with it, um, and cleaning in, cleaning out um, can be a bit fiddly at first. You can see uh, there's a glass tube in there that uh, collects the solder, and it seems to uh, there's a metal plate on the back, um, and then a filter, and it seems to uh, collect the um, the solder in like a, a mounting a mounting on the back like a pyramid and also around the glass tube getting this glass tube off can be fiddly for the first time uh, you release the lever here that springs back and you have to um, get the glass tube out to clean it out can be a bit fiddly uh, but I think once it's been done once it's got rid of some of the tension um, on the plastic and it helps uh, helps from there on in um, 
but yeah certainly recommend it um, some boards though um, I did try it on uh, I think it was an old an old router and some um, the way some of these have been soldered you know at the factory um, it's so the uh, the pins have been uh, welded on there um, it just it just won't um, it just won't melt uh, the solder on that uh, perhaps if you reflow some solder into it but most of those boards are, are all surface mount they not, not got any components or for any use anyway but um, yeah it can be addictive as well um, finding all your old boards out and removing components removing ICs so yeah it can be hobby in itself but uh, yeah I hope that's been useful anyway and um, like I say it's, it's certainly a, a recommendation from me uh, for that mirror kit um, I think there's different makes out there but um, you know for the for the price range it's uh, it's great so um, yeah take a look at one of those if you uh, you haven't got one and um, I'm sure it'll come in useful okay many thanks see you soon